I quit my high paying job in the tech industry and moved to Montana to pursue my dream of starting my own whiskey distillery. Just around $25,000 to my name and a few pieces of equipment I brought with me, we're starting from scratch. Will our whiskey distillery be successful? We'll find out. This is Whiskey RP. Ah, what a beautiful morning. This definitely beats what I'm used to. Fresh air, some mountains, some trees. Oh yeah. Our nice camper we're living in, got our truck. Got a little shed here as well, and a little skid steer that we're starting with. This John Deere here. We also have this nice silo that was on this property that we purchased. We, you know, we used our life savings to get it. It's a good start for us. We do own this property back here with these trees. They're definitely gonna have to get cleared out soon. But we also have this nice, nice size field to start with. Let's go take a look at it. Yeah, not, not much, just a nice plowed field. So a lot of equipment we're gonna need. This field might stay this way for a little bit. You know, we are pursuing our dream of starting a whiskey distillery and there's some things that need to go with that. You know, the ingredients that are required to make whiskey are gonna be barley, water. We're gonna need some wood to make barrels as well as yeast. So I think yeast is definitely gonna be the first one to start with. Most of the alcohol that we're going to be creating, we're going to create some vodka, some whiskey, as we mentioned, bourbon, and some others as well. They all are going to, or most of them, are going to require yeast. So that's going to be one of our first pursuits. And I think this area here would be really good to clear the trees and start a vineyard so that we can start producing that yeast. But we need money first. So, so we're going to look around, call around some of the people in town, see if anyone needs help with some work so we can start earning some cash. After making a few phone calls, we found our first lead. We're going to be cutting some grass for some sheep farmers, and they want their the lawn cut and the grass all bailed up, and they're going to pay us $7,500 for that, which is a pretty good start, I would think. And it looks like they have a lot of equipment here as well for us. Let's, uh, let's see, is this the entrance here? go ahead and get to parked and we'll chat with them and see what's going on oh look at this this is a nice john deere at the 5090e oh that'll be nice to use a little john deere lawnmower little wind rower they got a nice front loader as well so we can pick up the bales and maybe sort them for them they got this case ih 344 baler we're definitely going to make a quick job of this and it seems like yeah a little bit of grass over here Lawn over there. Should be a good start. Let me chat with him. All right, this thing's uh, dragging a little bit. Let's go ahead and unfold it. And we should be able to just find a good starting spot here and we'll get it cut. And this is gonna be, you know, a nice way to start our journey. Start learning a little bit about farming and cutting this stuff. I, I have driven a tractor before, so it's not completely my first time. Seems like everything started up there good. Go ahead and give it a few little passes here, or a little start here. I'm gonna hop out and check now and see how it's looking. Nope, that we didn't do that right. We did something wrong. Let me let me see here. Maybe it's this button. Oh yeah, lawnmower lowered down. Let's go ahead and pull forward a little bit. Oh yeah, I can see it in the rear view mirror. That's looking good. All right, let's get this done. All right, made quick work of that. Let's go ahead and raise it up, turn it off, we'll fold it, take this on back to the property. I think we're gonna take a little bit of a lunch break while this dries a little bit, and then we're gonna get it windrowed and bailed up. Yeah, it's a nice, it's a nice lawnmower. I'd like something like this someday. Someday, maybe we'll have our own. Oh, what is that in the distance? Looks like some new equipment arrived. I don't know if I should take a break or... Just keep going but that truck in the distance that I see well that wasn't there earlier either so looks like new lawnmower equipment looks like also we can see a new tractor as well that's interesting let's finish this row and go take a look oh man and that was fun to use but these would have been nice let me just I don't think they'll mind if I take a look yeah these Pottinger oh nice Massey Ferguson, 7720. Wow. I would love one of these. 
Well, I just got done chatting with the uh, owner, and he apologized for the miscommunication earlier. I was supposed to wait for this equipment to get here, and I wouldn't have had to even use their old windrower. So he's going to help us out. He's going to finish windrowing. He said I could use the Massey Ferguson. He hasn't even used it yet. He's going to let me use it first because he felt bad, and I can start bailing while he finishes up the, the windrowing. So that's what we're going to do. Oh, and it looks like he's already out there picking up. He's, he moves fast. So he felt pretty bad. I kind of asked him what his plan was with this old mower and he's going to get rid of it so I'm thinking about trying to strike a deal with him on a trade instead of paying for cash I don't have a tractor yet but all right that's hooked up let's go ahead and I think we want to start over where we finished already so let's ride over there get lined up real good and I think it works similar to the other things yep that button lowered it Sounded like it kicked on. And we should just pull forward now. Now, is this one of those where you have to stop and let it unload? I've read about these. Let's see. Oh, it's beeping. Let's slow down. There it goes. Not bad. All right. So finishing up this last row here, we got a lot of bales to pick up, and he's left the tractor there prepped for me to do that part. That was so nice of him to help out. I don't know if I'd have been able to finish this out in one day. When I was talking to him earlier, he was mentioning that he has another property where all the sheep are at, so he's going to have to get these loaded on his trailer there so that we can get them dropped off. Well, this is definitely my first time using one of these balers. Let's see how they work. Yeah, you just kind of poke it. Probably do a better... Oh, uh, did not secure that one. All right, let's see if we can figure this out. Just kind of poke it, I would assume. Go, we'll tilt it up. All right. Can we get two at once? Seems to do the trick. Let's see if we can get it loaded over here for him. Not bad for my first try. Well, there he goes. Uh, he's not driving the best hope he's okay but he said that he wanted to get all of that hay over to or the grass over to his sheep and so he was going to take care of the rest of this the next day i don't know if he was annoyed at me with how slow i was with the forks or what but we did work out a deal he's going to go ahead and give us this uh lawnmower we're going to get this lawnmower as well as well as 2500 bucks so at five thousand dollars for this mower i think that's good so I got to go get my trailer, and we'll come back and get this. Oh, and it looks like he wired the money already, so that's perfect. All right, let's get back. All right, we got it all loaded up. That should be secure enough. Let's uh, let's get it home. You know, one thing we didn't think about is we don't have a way to get this off of the trailer, so that's going to stay there for a little bit, I think, um, unfortunately. So what a successful day so far. We got, you know, $2,500 to our name. A nice lawnmower that we'll be able to use once we get a tractor. We got a little bit of cash left, but I think I'm going to spend the rest of the day. We talked about this going to be our first vineyard here. We're going to need a lot more money for that, but all of these trees need to come down. So I think we'll start chopping those down. And we're going to need something to grind these stumps out as well. So I'm going to get all of them just chopped down and then we'll trim them up later load them up and see if we can get some cash for these too all right that's all the time we have for this episode let me know what you think of this series it's going to be fun to make hit the subscribe and like button if you want to catch all of these episodes as we pursue our dream to create a whiskey distillery it's going to be fun we got some cool ideas along the way to pull off i'll catch you on the next one